What's going on guys? The draft lawyer going down a week ago, it had me thinking, how good would a team of only first overall draft picks be? Um, obviously it's going to be very good in terms of forwards, but not too many defensemen or goalies are picked first overall, so uh, definitely could play a factor, and that's what we're going to find out today, uh, just how good this team is going to be. Um, also guys, I've actually downloaded the most recent roster update, obviously if you missed it, I did a roster review, so I want to show you guys all the new team overall ratings, a lot of them actually have changed. Uh, for instance, Vancouver was 87 overall before. They're now a 90. I think the boost to Markstrom uh, definitely played a factor. Chicago also got a pretty big boost as they had three of the biggest uh, with Debrinkat, Strom, and Gustafson. Uh, Detroit even got an upgrade. Ottawa, though, is still 87 overall. So they're actually the lone uh, lowest rated team in this game. Um, Carolina there, I think, also went up by one. They were an 88, now an 89. So Ottawa there is the lowest by themselves. You then have Detroit at 88, and I think that's it for Detroit. Uh, the lowest rated team in the West is actually Edmonton Oilers. So if you want to put a team in the West, I don't know what we're going to do because you can't take McDavid out. So we probably still take out Vancouver, maybe even LA or Arizona. I don't know. But I uh, wanted to show you that uh, as we're going to be taking out the Ottawa Senators here, the lowest rated team by far, putting our first overall pick team. Like I said, though, this team will be relying heavily on the forwards. Uh, right there, you can see the team name, Central First Overall Picks. Uh, the logo there is actually a modern eye, but I think it looks kind of like the number one. You can't actually use numbers for logos. Uh, they're not available. Um, top players there, McDavid, Crosby, Ovechkin. Arguably just the three best players in the league are all on our team. So if we don't win the Stanley Cup, we should come close. Um, again, we're going to be playing the Atlantic Division here. So 94 overall rated team. We're actually tied with Tampa. So kind of crazy a team comprised completely of first overall picks. Isn't higher rated than the Tampa Bay Lightning, but... Uh, I don't know, that's kind of cool as well. And as always, guys, we're using the most authentic settings for this sim. So, skill there is superstar, period length 20 minutes, game style full sim, but we do have injuries turned off. And as you can see here, obviously the team stats is champion, so I'll give you guys a look at the lines now. Um, this team should win a Stanley Cup, but you never know. So, first line here, we have Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby, and Nathan McKinnon. I would love for this to be like Candace's first line at the next Olympics, if, of course, NHL players go. Uh, second line there, you got Patty Kane, Stamkos, Ovechkin. Uh, third line is Tavares, Matthews, and Hall. And then fourth line here is Kovalchuk, Jack Hughes, assuming he goes first overall uh, this year, 2019. And Neil Yakubov, who actually had to make, so I was using his stats from NHL 18. Uh, still not a terrible player, definitely good enough to be on the fourth line. Now defense, we actually have a few forwards because there are only uh, three defensemen in the NHL right now that are picked first overall. So we got Dalene here paired up with Ekblad on the top pair. Uh, Eric Johnson and Nugent Hopkins on the second pair. Uh, Nugent has pretty good defensive stats, 88 de awareness. Um, 88 stick check and then we got Thornton and Hishier on the bottom pair um, both these guys these defensive stats uh, Hishier 86 D awareness 85 stick check but he is a two-way forward uh, Thornton there 87 D awareness 88 stick check it's actually two almost the oldest and youngest player on this team as you can see there Thornton's 39 years old uh, picked first overall back in 1997 uh, he's the oldest player on this team by far and then Hishier of course picked 20 years later he's 19 years old first overall in 2017 obviously only Dallin is younger than Hishier um, actually, I'll show you guys the goalies as well. So Marc-Andre Fleur is our starter, very good starter, 88 overall, um, picked first overall there 2003. And back him up, we actually have Rick DiPietro. Uh, he was picked first overall in 2000. Unfortunately, you know, he retired, what, four or five years ago now. So having a 68 overall, I feel like if you put in some time training, maybe he could get back to that rating if you wanted to play, uh, you know, 2019-2020 season. Obviously, it's not going to matter too much to him being the backup. Um, also, I'll just show you guys where every single person was drafted. So, McDavid, of course, you got 2015, Crosby 05. Um, just pretty much every first overall pick of the last 20 years. Um, I think the only one we don't have is, like, Rick Nash, who, of course, recently retired, um, as well as, I think, Vinny LeCavier would be, like, the next oldest one. Uh, so, right there, again, you can just see every single player on this team is a first overall pick. Also, I'm going to show you guys the special teams here. So, we're just going all offense on the power play. The first unit, though... I don't know how you would stop that if it came over the boards. McKinnon, Crosby, Kane, McDavid, Ovechkin. Like, I have no idea. What, you would, what, what are you going to match that with? Like, it's impossible. Uh, Stammer, Tavares, Matthews, Hall, and Kovalchuk is the second unit. Uh, Four-man power play, the exact same thing. Just like all of our best players, all forwards. Penalty kill, though, we actually do use the defenseman just to give kind of some of the forwards a break. Uh, same goes there for the three-man penalty kill. Now, Matthews, Tavares, actually surprisingly, our best face-off guys. Matthews at 83 face-offs and Tavares at 82. Also, they're pretty good defensively, so I figured why not use them uh, kind of more on the penalty kill. So we'll see how this team does. Again, they're very, very good offensively. The defense, though, and goaltending, at least the backup goalie, are kind of weak spots on this team. So you never know, maybe they actually will get beat. Uh, Crosby, of course, wearing the C there, and then McDavid and Ovechkin wearing the two A's. Um, I'll show you guys the team's ratings in terms of offense, defense, and goaltending. Now, I have them matched up with Tampa Bay, the other 94 overall team, but I think Tampa Bay is definitely rocking a preseason lineup. Their stats aren't that good. 
Our team there, you can see the 100 offense as best as it can be, 91 defense, as well as 91 goaltending. Honestly, kind of surprised to see the defense and goaltending rated the same, but there's a look at the stats. Uh, did not make jerseys or anything, so just ignore those. Uh, we'll get started with the sim now. See how this team does. Patty Kane's already got 7 points through 4 preseason games, so should be fun. Alright guys, we're on the trade deadline here. As you can see, team's doing really good. 41-18-3 record. Honestly though, I thought they'd be doing even better than that. Uh, a bit of a scare as well. We had 5 straight losses here. Uh, like, second week of February, so not sure what's going on there, but still, a very, very solid record. I'm sure we'll be first or close to first in the division, and we're actually tied in for first. The Tampa Bay Lightning there, 85 points each. Um, Connor McDavid, almost point per game, 56 and 62, playing with Crosby and Nathan McKinnon. It's a little bit surprising, doesn't even have a point per game, but I mean, our top three lines are all first lines, so I'm sure they're all getting pretty close to equal amount of minutes, so I'll keep Simmon here. And then, of course, see what goes down in the playoffs. And we're now at the end of the season. Our final record's 57, 20, and 5. So, um, 119 points, I think, which is pretty good. Yeah, it was good enough for first in the division. Uh, Toronto actually passed Tampa, taking over second. McDavid still just shy of a point per game, 78 and 82. I mean, it's not bad, but McDavid's numbers on Oilers are better than that. And with McDavid and Cro or, sorry, McKinnon and Crosby should be um, even better. So, we'll actually take a look here. Uh, just see how everyone did there in terms of scoring. I don't know. The, like, the, the game needs to have higher scoring, hopefully, for the next one. Uh, Tavares actually, surprisingly, third there, 75. He was third line center, a third line winger, and second power play unit, so it's kind of surprising. Um, okay, so let's see. Patty Kane, 69. Nice. Crosby, 68. Stammer, 67. Mc okay, so I mean, McDavid at 678, but I mean, how many is that? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We had nine players, so our three first forward lines all put up 60 plus points. That's kind of unreal. Uh, so we'll take that for sure. Kovalchuk even just shy of 50. Jack Hughes at 30. Uh, still an 80 though. Thought he might have bumped up a bit. Then we had Ekblad there as our highest scoring defenseman at 28. Okay, um, yeah, Nuge playing defense. Obviously he's not going to score a lot, but surprise. I guess Ekblad, him and Dalene were both on that top pair. Dalene didn't grow either. Probably just, no, no, it's not scoring enough. Flurry here, stats. Pretty solid. 0.923, 7 shutouts, 2.06 goals against. It's very, very good for the regular season especially. Di Pietro, not a great stat line. 0.881, 3.24, but record there, 10-5-1, um, isn't too bad. I actually just want to quickly check and see if anyone did grow. I'm um, pretty sure I know what all their ratings were, and it doesn't look like anyone grew through the regular season, which I'm kind of surprised by. Like, oh, actually, sorry, Ekblad's up to an 87. Okay, so he went up by 1. Um, and I think that's honestly, or his shears up by one as well, and that is it. But still, uh, can't be too upset with that. We'll actually check now and see how the scoring went in the entire league. I doubt 78 points is enough, and it's not, but I mean, Melk in there, uh, him and Crosby, the Crosby on the Penguins, 85. That was enough to uh, win the Art Ross, pretty surprising. Kane there, 82. Bergeron put up 80, that's also surprising. Marner, 79. Marchand. McDavid, Ovechkin. Not our Ovechkin, though. The actual Ovechkin had 51 goals there. Curious to see how many ours had. Maybe it's close. And ours is even on the list. So, I guess second line uh, forward group. But he was, you know, first power play unit. So, I thought he'd be clapping bombs out there. That's all right, though. I'll check now and see where he finished the entire uh, league. Hopefully, first overall team of all first overall picks. You know, you'd like to get first overall in the season. We did finish first overall. Uh, 12 points ahead of Colorado, actually, who tore it up. Wow, look at all the teams with 100 plus points. That's actually, I don't think I've ever seen that before in a franchise. That's super strange. Nine teams, 100 plus points. Um, that means a ton of teams had to just do terrible. Vegas squeaks in there as the 18th uh, ranked. Arizona, the West sucked. 20th in the league, they make the playoffs, 86 points. Okay, uh, New Jersey, 66. So I thought there'd be a team that did even worse than that. So I don't know, it's kind of cool year, I guess. So many teams, 100 plus points. Probably mean the playoffs are going to be even tougher. Um, again, anything can happen in the Sims, so we just have to hope for the best. Like, we could just lose here first round against the wildcard team. Obviously, it's not too unrealistic as it happened to both this year, although that was the first time in history. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, where both one seeds were knocked out in the first round. And between the two of them, too, they only had one win. That was probably also a first. Like, you gotta be kidding me. So, Buffalo Sabres here first round. Big 7-3 win this uh, first game. We're actually on pace here to... Sweep them, and we do. Okay, I didn't want to say sweep until the fourth game was over, so good start there against Buffalo. Obviously, the last team to pick first overall, uh, getting Dalene. New Jersey should be taking Jack Hughes, but you never know. Maybe they'll take Capo Caco, just to make me wrong in this video. Toronto Maple Leafs here, actually. 
um, in the second round. Okay, so this should be a good series. Let's see what happens here with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We lose the first game, win the second in OT, big game three win. It's always going to lag. Big game five win. And we also win game six. I don't know, it always lags there when like the month changes for whatever reason. We actually have the Blue Jackets on the conference final, so that's pretty cool. They're actually really good in this as well. We beat them in five, won the next four games straight. Okay, so Columbus Blue Jackets here. Let's actually take a quick look at their lineup, see if there's been any changes. So looking at Columbus here, guys, no changes that I can see, but they have had some players grow. Um, Dubois is now an 86, Anderson now an 82, Milano is now an 81. On defense, Renski 89, is actually higher than Jones is 87. Uh, so their top pair is sick, but Broski there is a 90. Uh, definitely going to be a tough matchup here for us. But I mean, we have just, our forwards are so stacked, like especially in the playoffs, you can't match our top three forward lines. It doesn't matter who's on defense, we have Fleury and Net. Like, I don't see how they're going to do it. So, Columbus here, conference final, can we make the Stanley Cup uh, final? So, a one game each there in the first two, obviously playing in wherever our home arena is, who knows. Heading to Columbus now, and we take both games in Columbus. Okay, so there we go, have to just win one of the next three games to make the Stanley Cup final. Oh no, we lost game five, we do win uh, game six to take the series, 6 nothing win. And the Stanley Cup final, we're actually playing the Arizona Coyotes, the worst team to make the playoffs. They finished 20th in the league, so that means an 8 seed did win. Um, who would have been first in the West? I kind of want to go check that out now. So Arizona took out the Colorado Avalanche, who had 107 points on this season. Again, they finished 10th in the West, 20th in the league, and somehow they're in the Stanley Cup final. Like, that's just ridiculous. I'm uh, going to take a look at their lines now as well, um, see if maybe they made any big changes to this roster. I'm thinking, uh, based on some of their players, they should have had a decent amount of growth to probably help them. Yeah, Keller's up to an 87, got Chenyuk 86. Um, I think that's really it though. Most of those ratings look to be pretty much the same. They have a 69 on their fourth line. Like, come on. Um, let's see. Chitrin 83. I think that's up a couple. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Jonathan Erickson. I guess Detroit trade him to Arizona. I like that trade personally as a Wings fan. Uh, Rantel's a starter, still 85. Kumper backup, still 83. I don't know how they're getting it done, but uh, I definitely am impressed. Also, want to show you guys Crosby there. Uh, 16 points through 16 games in these playoffs. So, uh, he's doing his job as the captain. Obviously, too, we already uh, won that first game in overtime, though, but still uh, up well nothing right now on the series. So we'll just send these games one by one. We win the second there. I mean, figured that would probably happen. Third game, win that one in OT. So are we going to sweep the Coyotes here and become Stanley Cup uh, champions with the first overall pick team? Ooh, we don't get the sweep. We lose an OT. won nothing as well. Hard fought game. Game number five, though. Okay, okay. If there's a reverse sweep sauce, that'd be just the most incredible underdog comeback Cinderella story ever. Game six. All right, there we go. We win in game six, three nothing. They put up a fight though. Those two games had us worried. Uh, still, you know, the team, the best team in the league, did go on to win the Stanley Cup. So that's good to see. And check this out, guys. Anaheim actually wins the draft lottery here, picking first overall. So they'd be getting Jack Hughes, who obviously already on our team. I think New Jersey finished last actually and got fourth here, which is kind of funny because in real life, I believe they finished fourth and uh, jumped up to first. So kind of like the opposite there. Um, obviously now I'm going to show you guys all the awards for this season. We should have like, a decent amount, I think. Like obviously we'll have Stanley Cup, um, Ovi there, 20 points, 21 games, only seven goals in the playoffs, actually a bit more of a playmaker. That's kind of surprising. Um, Alright, so yeah, let's see what awards we got. I'm curious if we get any player awards. Obviously, like I was saying, we got the Stanley Cup, we got the President's Trophy, we got the Prince of Wales Trophy, player awards. So Malkin got the Art Ross. I'm not sure what the tiebreaker still is for that, because him and Crosby were tied. Um, Hart there went to Crosby. Um, not Art Crosby, though. Seth Jones got the James Norris. Mitch Marner, Lady Bang, he had a great year. Uh, Peterson Calder. Fleury got the Con Smythe. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Bobrovsky there, Vesna. He also got the William M. Jennings. Uh, DeKaiser there, Bill Masterson, Bergeron to the Selkie, Crosby, Ted Lindsay, not our Crosby, and Ovi there, but not our Ovi, with Ramesh Richard. So actually, no player award aside from Con Smythe. I mean, that's okay. It was a team effort, so that's all that matters. I do want to see Arizona's kind of road to the cup here. So uh, Vegas actually is who they played in the first round. That's my bad. Uh, beat them in six. Beat the LA Kings in seven, but they did play the Avalanche, but in the conference final, beat them in six. And of course, fell to us in six games. I'm surprised, um, honestly, they even made it that close. Uh, curious too to see like the playoff stats here from everybody. Uh, it was Crosby I think leading the way the entire time. So Ovi must just had a big um, Stanley Cup final there. Crosby did finish though with 19. What do you mean? Yeah, pretty much everyone there pitching and with scoring. Fleury got the constant. Let's see his stats. 16 and four records, kind of insane. Four shutouts. 0.936, 1.72 goals against. 
it's pretty tough to lose the cup when you have your goalie putting up those stats and you have this roster in front of them. So, um, cool to see this team win. Like I said, I'm surprised it even was as close as it was with Arizona in the Stanley Cup Final, but made it a bit more fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave that thumbs up. Also, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I have a ton of more videos on the way, so you're not going to want to miss them. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.